Hey everyone, Savu here. Today we are going to create one-way platform mechanics for games like platformers, jump and run games, or endless runners just like Spartup which I am using in this example. And with that said, let's jump into the video. Right now and before implementing any mechanics, the main character can jump on the platform but when underneath of one he can't actually jump on top of it. His jump seems to be blocked underneath of his feet. And that's because I'm using an Edge Collider 2D exactly under his feet. And as you can see, the is trigger variable is disabled in order to detect any collision. On the other hand, the platform has also a Box Collider 2D applied and the is trigger variable is also disabled. With this component, we can currently just stand on top of the platform and nothing else. To change that, we select the platform with the Box Collider 2D and simply add a new component, the Platform Effector 2D. You can see that a warning appears that says that the used by effecto variable on the Box Collider should be enabled. After that, you will see a circular arc above your platform, which can indicate from which direction the collision will take place. We are going to leave the settings as they are, with a surface arc at 180 degrees which means we can jump on top of the platform and stay on it. I will show you inside of the game what we just did. As expected, when jumping from below, we can land on top of the platform and stay on it. Actually, at this point, the mechanic is ready. But just like in any other platform game, the character should be able to slide through the platform at any time. So to do that, we simply create a new platform controller script in c -sharp. Although Spartup is a mobile game, in this example I am going to use the keyboard to demonstrate the functions. First of all, and inside of the update function, we have to check if the player presses a specific button. And since we are going to fall through a platform, it makes sense to use the down arrow. So that when the button is pressed, we are going to call a core routine named fall timer. Typically, a core routine is just a function which can wait a specific amount of time until something else will happen. Now your fall timer function should be an IE numerator. And inside of it, the first thing to do is to get component Edge Collider 2D and disable it. With this line of code, the collider, which was placed underneath of the feet of our player, will be disabled so that no collision will be detected. Next, we just want to wait a small amount of time before enabling the Edge Collider of our character. 0.05 seconds should be enough to fall through any platform. Back in Unity, we are going to assign the new script we just created to our character and click the play button. Just like before, we can jump on top of the platform and when clicking the down arrow, you can see the character falling through the platform. Now I am going to show you some bonus tips to make this function even smoother and adjustable for your game. Inside of the script, instead of just writing how many seconds we want to wait until the collision is detected, we are going to use a public float variable which will handle exactly that. That way you can simply adjust the wait time inside of your inspector. Increase the time when needed according to your game and your platforms. I also want to show you what happens with the Edge Collider 2D of our character every time we click the down button. Having the two scenes side by side, you can notice that every time we fall through any platform, the Edge Collider will be disabled and enabled again after our wait time. The last tip of the day is to use the gravity scale of your rigid body in order to make the fall through function even faster. In my case, I want to increase the gravity scale by 4 every time I click the down button and decrease by the same value after the wait time is over. Now in Unity, to demonstrate you the result of this, I am going to mark the gravity scale of our rigid body to see what happens every time we click the down button. You see that the gravity scale is instantly increased and decreased as soon as we fall through the platform. This will make your game smoother, faster and more responsive for the player of your game. To see all these effects and even more in action, click on the link in the description and pre-register for Spartup which will be available very soon for Android. In addition, you will also get pre-registration rewards to boost your gameplay experience right from the start. 
Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for your weekly game development tips and tricks. And with that said, see you next time. Ciao!